Gina, Simon. Simon? I need your help. I'm in Chefalu. Marco Ponte will know a place where Lily will be safe. You can call him from my house. Idiot. Templar made two phone calls from here. One to police headquarters and one to this number. Come on. No, child, no, you do not understand. It is impossible. She must go to a doctor to hospital. If you don't want to help, go away. Amiletta, vieni qua. Si, signorina. Portami subito dell'acqua calda dei fasci. Si, subito. No, Amiletta, you are not to bring them. Per l'amor di Dio, listen to me, child. Then I'll get it myself. Vai, Amiletta, vai. Wait. So you forced me to tell you, huh? That our beloved Alessandro is a mafia thug, that you are in league with him? and that he's out to kill Simon Templer, I already know. You know, but don't you understand? I understand perfectly. But by helping Mr. Templer and the girl, at least we can expiate some of our sins. Signorina. Oh, Mr. Templar, for all our sakes, will you please leave this house? La questore di Paramo. What? What are you doing? Something you should have done 20 years ago. Pronto. Marco Ponte, subito. What is it? Alessandro. Run! Out the back way, quick! I'm not leaving that girl. I'll hide you. Gina, we cannot. We must. Simon, in here. What if they... Delay them! But how? What do I say? Lie, it won't be the first time. Flowers. Flowers. Donna Maria, for once remember who you are. Maria, my dear, dear sister. What do you want? Paying a little visit to my favorite relative. Uh, you two upstairs. You take the cellar. George, yell this floor. You promised you would keep away from us. How dare you force your way in like Maria, this? Maria, you are a joke. This great lady act, this mellow decay. It's over. Sicilian aristocracy has been dead for a hundred years. Our family is one of the finest. Your family is broke. Now, look, we had a bargain. Your name in return for my money. I've kept my part of it. I've paid for all this. I sent Gina to school. You just remember that if it wasn't for me, you'd be selling melons in the market. Oh, well. Was he old? Hey, you remember me, Alessandro? Hmm? Alessandro. Alessandro. Oh, si. 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 <laughs> You're a smart old man. You seen Templar today? Huh? He talk nonsense. Where? Huh? Flowers. Flowers. I don't believe it. The last time I saw you, you were. Oh, hi. Now you've grown into something. Something quite beautiful. Thank you. Well, is this any way to treat your long lost uncle? Come here. Hmm. Yes, you've grown into something quite remarkable. Nothing. The garden. 
Now I want my devoted and loving family to answer a few questions. I know you'll be truthful. Has Templer been here? No. Down, Maria? No. Flowers. Flowers. He telephoned this house less than an hour ago. From Chafalu. Who did he talk to? Me? What about? He was with a girl. She was hurt. He asked me to come and get them. Go on. I drove them to the hospital. What hospital? Santa Maria. And then? Then I came home. Oh, this in less than an hour. I'm a fast driver. So, Templar's in Santa Maria now. I suppose so. Well, let's take a look, huh? Yeah? No sign of them. I believe we found them. Gina, you and I must have a long talk. I want to know all about you. Oh, well, it's been charming. Not exactly a festive family reunion, but charming. You are telling me the truth about Templar. Of course you are. You're a great lady. However, just to make absolutely sure, I think I take Gina with me. No. She's my niece. I'm devoted to her. She'll be perfectly all right, provided Templar's in that hospital. No. Wait. Please, Donna Maria. I'll be fine. Really, I will. Gina. I hope you are satisfied with what you have accomplished. Where's Gina? He has taken her away. If anything happens to that child. If he harms her, I'll kill him. I okay, we should have turned left back there. We don't go to Don Pasquale's yet. Down here? Exactly. Bene, avanti. A picked company, flown especially from Rome a week ago. Maggiore, this is Simon Templer. Thank you very much about you, Signore. Major. I'm very glad you're with us. Now, quickly, what can you tell me? The head, Don Pasquale, is dying, and all the Mafia Dons are at his bedside. Ah, excellent. We can attack at once, capture them all. Maggiore, there's a little problem. The problem? They're holding a girl, Gina de Stamio, prisoner. <laughs> you suggest I, I should be concerned about some, some girl? I'm concerned, Major. I'd like to try and get her out before you attack. But how? Well, there is a way. Don Pasquale's house is uh, here. Okay.
I will not accept you. Not while there is still some question as to your true identity. Giorgio, fetch my niece. She will tell you who I am. Tolentino. And I'm, I'm your uncle, Alessandro Destamio. Don't bother, Gina. Over here, quickly. Stand where you are. Nice and still. You, skinny. Bulge under your armpit. Get rid of it. Slowly. There's only two shots in that thing. So? Which two of you want to be heroes? No volunteers? Too bad. Put it on the floor. Now kick it over here. Well, that takes care of that. Now, the truth, you were... Uh... Pressing Gina for. Not that it matters much, but the real Alessandro Destamio is buried in the cemetery at Santa Croce. He died in Rome in 1950. Dino here stepped into his shoes and promptly emigrated to America. Where he'd be today if he hadn't been so mean about paying his taxes. <laughs> Chief of the Mafia. Take him away. The armor. Capo. One day, Temple, that's a promise. I can afford to wait, Dino. How about you? 